RTX 3060 Ti Roundup Asus Tough MSI Gaming X Trio Gigabyte Eagle If you've come here from our review of the RTX 3060 Ti Founders Edition then you'll already be aware of the performance one can expect to find from the latest addition to the NVIDIA Ampere range. If you haven't then it's very much as promised. RTX 2080 Super Performance for under £400. Whilst the NVIDIA Founders Edition is always a good baseline for the kind of smooth gameplay one can hope to find from the newest GPU, the reality is that the majority of people will instead invest their money into one of the partner cards available. Before starting with this make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss our upcoming videos with lots of new products and benchmark comparison. Start with the video. Partly because they are always much easier to source than the NVIDIA one, and partly because we're all a little brand loyal if only for having a system which has a single brand shining out through our case windows. The launch models from our three main protagonists are similar to the ones we have seen when we looked at the vendor cards for the other Ampere GPUs we've reviewed, with one exception. In the Asus corner we have their tough card, MSI stick with the Gaming X Trio, whilst Gigabyte have eschewed the gaming range of cards we've seen up to now, and instead have the RTX 3060 Ti Eagle. Three cards, one review. Let's see. Now we see the specifications for the RTX 3060 Ti, from the three cards. First we talk about MSI 3060 Ti. MSI GeForce RTX 3060 Ti features GA104 GPU with 4864 CUDA cores with base clock 1695 MHz and 8 GB GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit interface. 14 GB S of memory speed and 448 GB S of memory bandwidth. 3X DisplayPort 1.4 and 1X HDMI 2.1. 2x8 pin connector. So you have to need at least 650 watt of power supply to run this card. Price range of this cards vary from $459 to $500 depending on which country you live and what import duty and taxes your government should apply to import the card. Now I will show a graph will clearly shows which one is faster MSI, Asus or Gigabyte. As you can see the MSI is the fastest out of the box, and that carries over into the real world results too, albeit all of the RTX 3060 Ti cards are very closely grouped. Something which we'll also see in our benchmark results. Now second we talk about Asus 3060 Ti. Asus GeForce RTX 3060 Ti also features GA104 GPU with 4864 CUDA cores with base clock 1695 MHz and 8 GB GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit interface. Some days before RTX 3060 Ti is the cheapest RTX graphics card based on Ampere architecture, but now NVIDIA launch its RTX 3060 non-T cards with up to 12GB of memory but fewer CUDA cores. You need at least 750 watt of power supply to run this card. Price range of this card vary from $519 to $559 depending on which country you live and what import duty and taxes your government should apply to import the card. Third and last we talk about Gigabyte 3060 Ti. Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3060 Ti also features GA104 GPU with same 4864 CUDA cores and 8GB GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit interface as both MSI and ASUS have. 750 watt of power supply required to run this card. Price range of this card vary from $479 to $520 depending on which country you live and what import duty and taxes your government should apply to import the card. Also check RTX 3060 non-T cards with up to 12 gigabytes of memory but fewer CUDA cores in our next video. Thank you.